fixing codependency issues using NLP lesson four. If you haven't watched the previous three videos, I recommend you do so, otherwise you get a little bit lost. So how do you coach codependency issues? How do you fix it for yourself? Is that the issue here is, if you haven't caught on already, is that what people do with codependency issues, there is this event, this blow up, this issue that, that causes the person, the codependent person to feel hurt. And then the problem is that when that event ends, they go back for more or you go back for more. There is forgiveness. You've processed your hurt, you've processed your emotion. And you're maybe a super optimist. Maybe this is about loyalty. This is maybe about a fear to make it on your own. But isn't it easier to make it on your own than it is to be hurt every single day? Another issue that people have is that they think that the other person will change or that they can make the other person change. And, and that's a problem. You don't have that type of influence. You don't have that type of control. Even if you take an NLP full immersion training, even in a beautiful place like Bali, you do not have that type of control. They should go to the NLP training. <laughs> Maybe then you take Bali, they take Mexico, right? So you need to let that go, right? And the issue is, is that people stay because they believe in either a happily ever after or some weird sense of fear or loyalty that they need to work on. And, and you need to stop kidding yourself because the bottom line is, is that the true movie, the true movie is that you're on Groundhog Day. If you don't know what Groundhog Day is, it's a movie with Bill Murray and he wakes up in the morning and he goes to the, the fair or the, a community event, see this beautiful woman and he wants, to, he wants to date her, he wants to be with her. And she shoots him down. The next day he wakes up and he realizes it's the exact same day, right? So he now can change his own behavior. And so this keeps happening and he keeps changing his own behavior until he gets the girl. The thing is, is that you will keep going through this space of forgiveness and loyalty and that other person not changing. You need to change yourself. And a good way of changing yourself is playing another movie. And so far in the previous lessons, we've worked with dissociated movies. But now we're going to work on what we call an NLP, an associated movie. But I want you to play the associated movie where you're going to be on Groundhog Day. Same, same, same. The spiral down. So this time I want you to play a movie where you see what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel, looking through your own eyes. Through an event that recently happened and you forgave and you went back. And I want you to keep playing that associated movie where you experience those emotions as seen through your own eyes. And play it like Groundhog Day. Play it like the issue keeps happening, the same outcome every single time. And I want you to play that movie of one year from now, five years from now, and staying in this situation your entire life where different versions of that same event that I'm sure you've already experienced over and over, you're going to keep doing that for decades more to come. And that is going to mess with your happiness. It is going to mess with your flow. It's going to mess with all of your other relationships, especially if there's children involved. It's going to stand away of your sense of purpose and meaning, your achievements and your accomplishments. It is going to mess with your entire well-being and mental health. And eventually, you probably end up maybe get some physical disease by living in this negative chemical soup. And that means that you have killed yourself or that you allowed that other person to kill 
do. That is the true movie if you don't cut loose. Okay. So now rewind this movie. And I want you to watch this movie again as seen through your own eyes. See what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel, smell and taste. But imagine leaving and seeing what you could do with your life. What goals you could set and meet if you go back to school, get a new job, friends, find new friends, travel, take an NLP training, Mexico, Bali, you can imagine all the beautiful backdrops, Amsterdam, Venice Beach, and see what that is like. A life of well-being, mental health, happiness, purpose and meaning, flow, other relationships, achievements, leading your life's purpose. And that's it. And so I'd like to uh, um, wish you lots of luck. And if you want really good coaching on this and you can't find a coach, I have trained over two and a half thousand people around the world, about a good third of them coaches, uh, NLP coaches. So you can always contact me to find one of my students to work with or join an NLP training yourself. See you around.